was born on May 2nd, 2001, here in Phoenix. When Max was born, we already knew that he had a heart defect. We found that out. It was going to be the best day of your life. Yeah, it was going to be the best day of my life. has is an X chromosome based um, anomaly which means it came from me so I have a faulty X and I pass that to Max and me because I have a good X and a bad X they balance each other out and I'm okay the only thing that I have is if you do an MRI of my brain there's some um, nodules. there's some nodules in the gray matter in the middle with him, because he doesn't have that good X, he ended up with more problems. Uh, heart, the length of the intestine, which is not normal. Lungs, which are not normal. Now, if you do the MRI scan of the head, it looks just like mine. Um, it's a little bit more severe. But, um, and that's what the miracle with Max is. It's usually deadly in males because the brain is so malformed. The children, males with this um, genetic malformation. malformation, usually die in utero. And if they don't die in utero, they die pretty much after, not too long after birth. I really am helping you finish your sentences. You are, thank you. Um, so the fact that Max is basically speaking, you know, talking, eating, talking, eating, you're a pretty average 15 year old. I mean, you've got a lot of medical intervention, but this has never been seen before. In fact, up till now, the only live male they have found with this chromosomal abnormality. And as a... Well-behaved. Yeah, but that's not where I was going with that, but okay, as a well-behaved. Um, because of all this, and because Johns Hopkins is the only place that has experience now with him, we go there, um, if it's just checkups, if it's a good year, we go once a year. Um, last year was not a great year because now his kidneys are involved. So he's had um, lots of kidney stones, a couple kidney surgeries, stents, the whole nine yards. So we are now working on our kidneys and we've been back about six times in the last year. We try not to, but um, that's kind of where we're at right now. We pretty much have everything labeled. So puff means the stuff that he breathes when he's having respiratory issues. You know, regular like um, inhalers that um, even, you know, asthmatics will use. The aerosol stuff is the things we use um, for like his breathing machine. You'll see there's masks and stuff here. We haven't used that as much as we have. haven't. It's been a good respiratory season. We'll see. Um, this is where we keep, this is a rehydration solution, and this is what we use instead of IV because he can actually drink this. So it's sort of a Gatorade but on steroids because it keeps his electrolytes um, even. You will see that we have our first aid, so whenever we need anything, um, you know, if he's had surgery or anything. This is a pulse oximeter, so if he's starting to look like his color is off a little bit, we just have to put this in. We don't need a big machine because it's just one of the, this one, like little finger ones that goes on his finger, and it will measure the oxygen in his blood and his heart rate if he's having an abnormal heart rate. Now, 
Over here we have more first aid and anything pain wise that he needs. So really the majority of these, I mean there's some mixed in for the rest of the family. We have two drawers for the rest of us. But there's this. And then we have these are just the daily things. So you'll see we also have three that one is A for afternoon, N for night, and then down here is the M for morning. So we fill these up on a weekly basis and he knows he can come and get them. But all of these bottles are things that he currently takes. And it doesn't stop there. These are other supplements that he takes. So we keep these in here. Because of the short gut, Max doesn't necessarily um, absorb vitamins, especially those vitamins that are what they call fat soluble. These are, so these are considered static hand braces. And then these are um, dynamic. They call these dynamic because the idea is, is that maybe these will help a little bit, but um, he puts his finger through here and then we have to tighten it. It almost looks like a finger splint. And these actually it looks like way. weird gurney. It does. My, see, my fingers aren't as long as his, so I can't even get it. So we tighten them and then he wears these for half hour um, intervals during the day when he gets home from school. And again, he only wears it on the fingers that are particularly bad, these last two. Um, and, I can't pass along with them because of right, the they're they're problems. painful. They are painful, and obviously, when he's got them on, he can't write or do anything. So, unfortunately, when he comes home from school and have homework, not being able and to the write, circulation problems. It too. does. It causes circulation problems. Now, because Max has so many issues, like in a normal kid with this, we wouldn't worry about circulation because their circulation is good. Max's circulation is not good, so we have to be very, very careful that we're never cutting off the circulation. Every no, piece of his coming. body is formed by connective tissue that is not, not normal. So if you look at Max's hands, you can see that Nodules. there are fingers that can't straighten. Let me see this hand. See that pinky? That's as straight as it gets which means he has problems doing things with his hands. So what that also means is he has braces. And you'll see this has been formed to his actual fingers. So that's pretty crooked, right? And he wears these at night. He sleeps with these on. Um, he has to wear them every single night. And the idea is this isn't going to improve because there isn't an improvement. They can't do surgery. They can't do anything. But the hope is if he wears these for you know 12 hours-ish a day, they at least won't get worse. So for instance, at school, he can't write for long periods of time. When he does write, his hands hurt. His handwriting is not very legible. It's just not. The hands get red the more I press. Yeah, they do. They Which don't look good. So he does have an assistant at school who helps him with writing notes and he has some modifications on long writing assignments. I work with Max day to day, and it will not be the same day after day. It all depends how he feels. Um, if he's having a really good day, uh, he will then take tests, quizzes, and I have him do a lot of writing on his own since he has a hard time, any length of time of writing. Um, but if he's having a really bad day, I can then prolong his test for quizzes. I then take a lot more notes for him. I also help um, retrain some of the, learn some of the concepts that he may have learned in, let's say, math. I then later on in the day will reinforce what he had just learned. Um, I do that with almost every subject that he has. I also talk to the teachers one-on-one, -on -one, have great communication, so that way we are all on the same page with Max, since it does vary day-to-day -day with him. Um, some days it's, it's more of a struggle than others. Uh, he always has an upbeat personality. I give him that much. He always has a big old smile on his face every day. So that makes my job a lot easier, knowing that at least he's happy. There was one day I was walking from art class and I saw this kid named Max. He was rolling his backpack and so he was getting ready to bring it up the stairs. And no one would help him take it up. So then 
I went out my way and I helped him carry it up the stairs. And from that day forward, we started like a friendship. Every day he would wait for me after class and talk to me about sports, how his day's going. And it's like every other week he could tell if I was having a rough day. And it's, it's crazy because most kids can't come up to you and be like, what's wrong? But Max, like he knows instantly like something's bothering me. And I really appreciate that. A manager uh, the last two, three years and will be a, a manager, or excuse me, the last two years and will be a manager again this year. And his unbridled enthusiasm uplifts the whole entire team all the time. Um, whether we're up or down, he, he'd much rather see us winning. Dreams really do come true 